What's going on everybody and New York Jets fans today it's your turn in this video as we continue on our trek through the NFL and we have finally reached the AFC starting in the AFC East and we're going to start with probably the worst team in the NFL the New York Jets now this is a team that lost its top two quarterbacks last year Ryan Fitzpatrick Geno Smith it lost its best two best receivers Brandon Marshall and Eric Decker it has no offensive line. It has no secondary. It has problems. Um, so in the offseason, they brought in Josh McCown um, to be their starting quarterback, who actually has been named the starter for the first game of the season. And they brought in Morris Claiborne, formerly of the Cowboys, to come in and replace Darrell Revis. It looks like Darrell Revis had a terrible year last year, couldn't cover anything. And they drafted safety Jamal Adams out of, uh, I think it was LSU. If, it's, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a team. Yeah, I was out of LSU. This is a team that needs to improve fast. Um, I just don't see this team winning very many games at all. Maybe one or two games, honestly. Um, they play in a weak division, though, so that kind of helps. Um, obviously, you're playing in a division with the Patriots, though, so that's, that's two losses off top. Um, this is a team that has struggled to draft well in the first round. Over the last five, four seasons, they drafted Dean Milliner, who was a bust. Calvin Pryor returned into a bust. Devin Smith, a wide receiver from uh, Ohio State, who hasn't amounted to anything. And this uh, last year, they drafted Darren Lee, who I think is actually has a has a possibility to turn into a solid starting in the NFL. And this year, they drafted Jamal Adams out of LSU to be their safety. Um, this year, however, I just don't see much improvement from them. Um, I feel like Todd Bowles, uh, who's a great defensive mind, is getting the short end of a leash. I mean, think about it. Two years ago, this team was, I think they were 10-6, and six, maybe. 9-7, 10-6, and six, and they were fighting for a playoff spot, and they didn't make it into the playoffs. And last year, they just took a nosedive. Um, I don't know what's going on with their management, GM. They just don't draft well. They don't. They overspend in free agency. I feel like. I mean, look at last year, bringing in Ryan Fitzpatrick, and you give him a, a fat contract to come in and do nothing. Um, I feel like they they think that Christian Hackenberg is their quarterback of the future. I don't. Um, this team just needs help. I feel like they need to acquire. They need to acquire major amounts of draft picks in a way that the that the Bears almost did this past off season in the draft by by. Doing what they, I mean, not the Bears, the Niners, what the Niners did to the Bears this past off season. I feel like they need to acquire, they need to scrap, start over. I think that's what they're about to start doing. They're going to start over from scratch. Um, they just need a lot of help. Um, their offensive line is terrible. Their quarterbacks are bad. Their one bright spot might be Bilal Powell, their running back. Um, I believe that's, and Matt Forte. Um, but Matt Forte is on the downward end of his career and Bilal Powell catches a lot of passes does a lot of the same things probably for a much cheaper price um they did lose a Quincy Quincy Anua in the in training camp to it I think he tore his ACL um injuries suck and that's their best receiver and they lost him at least on their defensive front they have Muhammad Wilkerson and Leonard Williams and nobody knows what's going to happen with Sheldon Richardson who's a great talent but just has off-field character concerns um I just feel like you can build around Leonard Williams. You can build around Leonard Williams, Muhammad Wilkerson, and Darren Lee. And the offensive side of the ball, they just need help. On defense, I feel like they'll be they'll be in the average part. They just really need help in their secondary to be able to stop a corn stop a receiver. Um it's a bad football team. So I can see them tanking. I know tanking is a loose word to throw around, but Let's go ahead and jump into their schedule because there's not much to talk about about this team. They're just bad. Um, so, so far in the preseason, they're 1-2. Uh, and two. Um, They beat Tennessee 7-3. to three. They lost to Detroit 16-6. to six, And they lost to the Giants 32-31 in Game 3, which everyone knows is the dress rehearsal game. And they have Philadelphia up next. So... Let's go ahead and look at their regular season schedule. Um, they start the season off against Buffalo, 
Uh, Buffalo isn't too much to write home about, but their talent is better than the, the Jets. So that's an L. At Oakland's an L. East Coast to West Coast swing suck. Uh, versus Miami, that's an L. Versus Jacksonville, I think they could beat Jacksonville. Jacksonville's Blake, Bo Blake Bortles, so we'll get into that when we talk about them. At Cleveland, I think Cleveland's better than them. Versus New England, that's an L. At Miami, that's an L. Versus Atlanta, that's an L. Versus Buffalo, that's an L. At Tampa Bay, that's an L. Versus Carolina, that's an L. Versus Kansas City, that's an L. At Denver, that's an L. At New Orleans, that's an L. Versus lost the Chargers, that's an L. Finish the season off in New England, that's an L. Um, I'm sorry, Jets fans. Your team is just bad. Um, if you think otherwise, please let me know. I would love to hear some positive input about the Jets. But, I mean, if you have Josh McCown playing quarterback for you, I just don't think that you have much to look forward to. Um, you can try to hand the reins over to Christian Hackenberg, but I don't think he's that guy. So, I mean, this is rebuilding year one. Um, they definitely need to start acquiring younger talent and draft picks. Um, that'll wrap it up here. Buffalo's up next. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out. Peace.